Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. Today I'm going to be talking about daylight environment and planetary environment. Just sort of the basics of it, nothing uh, real complex here, but if you haven't used these nodes yet, um, they're, they're really great and sometimes better than, than HDRIs depending on what you're trying to do. So I'm just going to start over here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. And uh, in my shader tab, so if you go up to this window, you can go down shader editor and then instead of object you can go to world and then you have your world output here you can do shift A to add down at the bottom octane environment daylight planetary and texture so we'll start with daylight the other thing is you can do shift A search and then just E and V and then you can see what options you have here so we'll start with daylight and uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better so out environment to octane environment and you right away this is sort of the default and uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's it's already got a great result here, and you have a bunch of settings here. I don't know how to use them all exactly, but you can. They're pretty self-explanatory. You can just sort of click and drag. This is a great way to to sort of just manipulate the direction of the sun, and so you can click on this and drag it, go a different direction, etc. Sky turbidity, so it'll make it more diffuse, um, for lack of better terms. And we'll just go back down to whatever the default is. It's not zero though. I know that's like two something. So I'll hover over and push backspace and it should go back. Okay. Power, of course, you can make it brighter if you want. Um, backspace to get rid of that. Uh, let's go back to one. North offset. But I'll show you what I like to do. Instead of, even instead of doing this, uh, I mean, maybe for quick uses, uh, this is fine. But if I'm really trying to dial something in, Shift A, search sun, and you get sun direction. You can also find that under Octane Value Sun Direction. So Octane Value to Octane Value, or to Sun Direction, and then now you have um, real world uh, longitude, latitude, tude, and everything. So if you wanted to go to San Francisco, they're at latitude 38, and you can say, I want, um, what does it look like in December? on December, what is today, the 8th, at uh, 1500. Uh, you can see sort of what, the, you can mimic the sun uh, that way. And the other thing I like about this a lot is that I can try out different things. So I can do Shift D to duplicate, and then I can plug this in and I can try something completely different. I can say, okay, well, what does it look like, you know, in, in the evening? What does the sunset look like? And, uh, and, and I can, make those adjustments, could duplicate it again if I wanted to, and then I could A, B and say, okay, which one do I like better? And I could I could play with that and, and see what I want, and see what I like. Uh, of course, you also have sky color. You can change the way that, how, how, how dark the sky is by default. And then sunset color as well. This also, if you can, if you make it more pink, and then we go a little bit later in the evening, you'll get different colors in your sunset. And then, yeah, the rest of this, yeah, you got ground color as well. Uh, and then let's look at planetary uh, environment. So again, Shift A, you can do Search E and V for environment and see what we have. We do planetary, and we'll click in, and this is the default. So this is great because it gives you sort of a horizon, which is cool. And these, you have a lot of the same uh, functions here, so you can. Um, you can use the sun direction to change the sun direction. You can change that this uh, with, with the longitude and latitude. You can change power, sun intensity, sun size, all that. Uh, but where it's really cool and what really separates this one from uh, daylight is altitude. So right now we're at zero. But if we go up, uh, let's go up by 10,000. Now we're starting to see, oh, okay, we're 10,000, uh, I guess, meters in the air. And of course we can go up higher. Let's go up 25,000. Let's do 50,000. You can also do uh, asterisk sign two to do some math in here if you weren't sure what 25 times two was. <laughs> and then this is where you can see this gets really interesting because now you can you can you can do some some planetary stuff uh, and it gives a real nice glow automatically. There's a way to do to to put a star field here. I didn't play with it too too much, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, there should be a pretty simple way to create stars or, or, or bring in a real map, a real texture, and, and put it in the background. 
Um, so that could be really interesting. And then let's just keep going up. Let's go up to uh, 200,000. There we go. That's cool. And that's just a plane down there, I think. Or no, I guess that's the that's part of the environment. That's not a plane. That's part of the environment. Um, all right. So let's do times five. Let's do times five again. Okay. Now we can see how far away we are. And then this is this is interesting. So let me just uh, let me go out. Let me do that again. Let's do times three. Okay. So now. If we change the sun direction, you can see it, it really looks like a planet. I, I don't know how much you, uh, I, I got a telescope uh, like a month ago, but uh, so I've been looking at the moon a lot and I've been looking at all these things. And this is really interesting because it really does sort of reflect, um, I mean, it does look, this is sort of the way that, that uh, you know, light really behaves. So this is this has been a lot of fun for me just, just even playing around with this. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think I'm going to do some, some planetary stuff next. But, uh, and you can see too, if I go back into camera view, our object in our camera hasn't moved at all. It's just the, it's just the environment that's changed. So let me go back down to something where we can see the environment here. Let's go to 50. And uh, yeah, so change the, and there's the sun in the background. You can see that, that little dot is the sun. <coughs> that's the sun direction. So you could change that around. So this is, uh, Lit a little bit. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.